The story that has baffled a lot of people. White woman posing as a black woman becomes the head of the Spokane uh, chapter of the NAACP, only to be outed by her white parents. Now to that, Rachel Dolezal responds like this. I identify as black. Now, Dolezal has since stepped down from the NAACP, but it has left a lot of people asking a lot of questions. One of those questions, can people be transracial? Joining us this morning to discuss this is president of the Phoenix chapter of the NAACP, Donald Harris, and author and behavioral specialist, Mike Lindstrom. Gentlemen, good morning. If you morning. would like to take the first uh, question, your response to the whole stuff, because you said she almost single-handedly brought down that chapter. Well, the problem being is that when you have a weak link, and the weak link happens to be the top of the link, the chain, she's the president. She denigrates from the organization. And by her doing what she did, the organization suffers. Uh, it's gonna recover. It's not really in deep trouble because of it. It's just a shame that it happened because she's done some good work. But the basic problem here is when you see that she uses it as a sword and as a shield. Yeah. She gets herself a four-year scholarship to Howard University, as I understand, because she's black. And then she gets denied a scholarship program for the master's program at Howard because she's white right. and ends up suing. That there's uh, the fabric has a little piece of thread. You pull on it, the whole suit disappears. Right. Now, she and did an time. interview yesterday, and she was very evasive in yeah. just about everything, even pointing to the fact that she doesn't know whether her white parents are her biological parents. Well, you know, on the Today Show, Matt Lauer took a tour right straight away. He asked her on three different occasions, point blank, a real simple question. And if you notice, if you go back and rewind the tape, you know, from a behavioral perspective, she flutters her eyes a lot. When somebody is absolutely congruent about what they're saying, they look you right in the eyes and they tell you without blinking the truth. So there's, there, again, there's some behavioral things going on there. Even as late as last night, she's now claiming that you know her parents can't prove that that was her birth certificate. So she's kind of backed into a corner herself. It's really unfortunate because it's it's kind of a, a slap in the face to so many people in this whole thing. Let me let me ask you, uh, Mr. Harris, because you're a Jewish man, you're the head of the Phoenix chapter. I here. am. Yeah, yeah, yes, <laughs> as you've told me, yeah. uh, you're the head of the Phoenix chapter here. Have I just and, been outed? And you see, you might have. And you. <laughs> <laughs> you say, you say, so that points to the fact that it's not about race, it's about what she's done in that position. Correct. And the, the problem being is she could have gotten along in life in this particular area, in this arena, as a civil rights advocate, uh, doing everything she's done right. without cheating, without lying. Because once she's done that, you get into the realm of uh, fraud. That's right. Yeah. And uh, you got to look people in the eye. That's is right. that correct? That's right. And there that's been go. the problem this whole thing is that she lied along the way. It, you know, she can't have it both ways. You, like you said, you can't use it on both sides of the sword. If she would have been confronted originally and she said, look, I am a white person by, by, by birth, but I've identified with the black community you know, through her upbringing and all the things, but, but I am a white person, but I believe in the cause, we wouldn't even be sitting here talking about this today. Mm -hmm. It's all the lies back and forth. You can't have it both ways, and I think that's been the problem. A one-word answer, is there such a thing as trans Racial. I think there is. I think it's now evolved itself, just like a lot of words have in our in our culture from 20 years ago to 2015, especially with Caitlyn and Jenner and what the word trans means in modern day society. I understand trans fat, but I don't understand trans racial. <laughs> <laughs> with all due respect, I think that's bullshit. Oh, oh, get that bleep button. All right. Well, we have the answer there. Thank you very much, gentlemen, you. for stepping in today. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.